Alright uh, y'all at the gym, Ozark Iron, gonna do some back today. Again, not gonna film the workout, but we're gonna give you some little deadlift tips today. So a deadlift tip coming at you. Alright y'all, I'm trying to do like a little tip with every workout clip we do, just so I can give y'all some value there. Some are gonna be simple, some are gonna be more complex, just depending on where you're at in your fitness journey. So today, we're doing deadlifts. There's sumo deadlifts, there's conventional deadlifts. I do conventional deadlifts, that's, that's what I prefer. I'm trying to target most of the lower back. Some people do deadlifts for hamstrings. I'll do that on leg day, but when I'm doing deadlifts on back day, I'm targeting the lower back. And for that reason, I don't engage a whole bunch of legs. I do a little bit, but I try and keep my legs somewhat out of the equation. So I like to do a pretty close foot placement. So if you see here, my feet are actually um, a little bit more narrow than shoulder width. And then you want to kind of start with the bar up against your shin that's gonna like basically remove the bar path it's gonna make it more linear and less range of motion more weight um, so basically what we're gonna do here is you want to have a pretty close hand right outside your legs on the first rep I start down pretty low I drop my butt down a little bit and then you want to keep your shoulders rolled back and your chest forward so shoulders back chest forward look straight ahead boom and when you get to the top of the movement, you can squeeze your glutes. Main thing being, wear a belt when you do deadlifts. Like, you're gonna put a lot of strain in your back, wear a belt, be preventative with any injuries that you could potentially get. Um, or be proactive with preventing injuries rather and then have good form keep your back straight don't arch your back sometimes i arch my back when i get really heavy and then that's when i know it's like you need to drop the weight down a little bit you know um you want to have good form build good habits with this exercise or else it can really screw you up for later y'all just got done killing a back workout and I really want to show you something real quick because it's important I would be remiss if I didn't show you what this process is like in its entirety so for that I'm bringing Crystal in who has just finished bawling her eyes out very emotional moment right now she didn't hit her deadlift on her deadlift this is her peak week she's got one more week until the show the show was on Saturday so basically, if you're doing the deeper step protocol, this is like the last week of the third phase. Except she's been doing it for 21 weeks instead of 12. So how do you feel? Mm -hmm. A little rough. A little rough? <laughs> Describe your emotions. Um, I just told Robert that like I've dropped like 11 or 12% body fat and I've lost a lot of weight I've accomplished a lot in this prep and I'm really proud of myself but like I told Robert like I look in the mirror and I still don't like what I see I feel like I could be better and I could be more and I don't know there's things that I'm gonna always want to fix. And that's, that's life. I mean, there's always going to be something you want to improve on. The main thing is to know that you've done the most you can with what you've got in the time you're given. Isn't that right? Her main thing is to be able to walk off that stage knowing that she couldn't have done anything more. Regardless of the placing, if she does that, then she's won. Same holds true for y'all. I love you. I love you too. All right, time for food.
All right, y'all, that is my first meal of the day. A little omelet action going on with two of those sausages and eggs. Breaks down to, if that focus is kind of bright, um, 70 grams of protein, 93 grams of fat, and 1,120 calories. So that's what we got going on right now. All right, everybody, I am cooking up some dinner right now. It has been a crazy day. Lots of questions about Deeper State. My inbox is flooded, so I'm working on that. I got to do all the social media comments still, so I'm way behind on Instagram and YouTube. Please be patient with me. This is a great way to get some some small amount of fat grams in. Some olives. Some olives. We got two grams of fat and zero carb and zero protein per two olives. So if you're trying to hit your numbers, it's good. And I'm laughing right now because today's just comically crazy. Um, but it's good. It's a good day. All right, I'm going to eat. All right, y'all. I'm doing another one of those little burger bowl things. Got kimchi, the burger patty, and two fried eggs. I've really been liking the kimchi. I didn't used to like it, but it's a really good way to just get a different flavor in there. So I've been digging it. Just pulled up to a Starbucks. Going to uh, work on some Instagram DMs, some emails. Today's been all about the emails. Been uh, responding to the Deeper State emails, Keto Savage emails. So if you haven't heard back from me yet, I apologize. I'm getting back to everybody. Just give me some time here. Um, all right, so we're going to get some Starbucks coffee, Americano, Venti Americano with steamed heavy cream. It's about 9 o'clock at night. About to get my four espresso shots and keep on grinding. So let's do it. All right, what's up everybody? We just concluded day two of Deeper State Keto. Um, today's vlog's kind of all over the place. We had like little workout montage footage. We had like some random food clips, random clip of me talking with the crazy hairdo. Um, but that's okay, you know, like you, not every day is gonna be like a perfectly well thought out, strategically planned vlog. Just as every day in your life is not gonna be well thought out and strategically planned. Like I had a bunch of emails today that prohibited me from doing a well-planned, thought-out vlog. There's gonna be times throughout this course for y'all where, you know, distractions are gonna come into place and you're not gonna be able to have like a well-planned out meal. But consistently making it work and being able to think on your feet and just finding a way to make it work is gonna do wonders. You know, like, I don't know if I'm gonna do like a daily vlog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put out daily content. I don't know if it's gonna be a daily vlog for YouTube. It's gonna be daily content and just that consistent act of pumping out content you know is gonna it's gonna make this grow it's gonna be good for me it's gonna be good for y'all and consistently hitting y'all's macros um, and and sticking to your plan is gonna be really good for you I can't emphasize enough how important it is to just not let distractions become an excuse you know I could easily say I've got too much going on today I'm not gonna hit my macros I'm not gonna get this vlog out, yada, 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 complain, excuses, complain, excuses. Don't do that, you're only selling yourself short when you do that. You know, like Crystal, we had that clip of her, that emotional clip of her earlier. I'm incredibly proud of her. She's been doing this for 21 weeks straight and literally has not cheated on her macros once, not once. And all of her success can be attributed to that discipline, dedication, and desire. And I want y'all to be able to replicate that in your own way in your own life throughout these next 90 days. So that said, I'm gonna go home and get my last little meal. Catch y'all later.